Hi, it's Kevin. Hey, it's Brian. And we are in Disneyland. Part of the reason why we're here is that I love, 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 love Disneyland. And Brian just thinks it's okay. It's okay. That being said, Disneyland was also our like third date. Um, we came down here and had an amazing time. And that's the last time that we were there. Um, last or we last time we're here. We're here. Um, so it's actually been four years since we've been able to come to Disneyland. Part of the reason that we're here though is because of Star Wars Land. So Galaxy's Edge opened several months ago and we really wanted to check it out. Is Galaxy's Edge worth it? We have our shirts. Yes. Dr. Dinju and BB-8 represent. And we are ready to get going. What you see behind me, which is the entrance to Batu. Batu actually I don't think is an actual land in the Star Wars canon, but they created it for the purpose of Disneyland. So, but Batu is supposed to be really reflective of what you would probably see if we were in Tatooine. Tatooine. Yeah. Yeah, for those of you who are Star Wars fans. There's like music transitioning you into the future. We're like tra traveling light years of space away. Yeah. yeah. And now we have arrived. You've arrived. Oh, look, it's the bazaar. And this is Batu. Batu. Wow. So now we just walked in, I think, to the market. You can see pretty cool decorations all around. We are fitting in with our droids. I'm not the droid you're looking for. Uh, neither am I. So. Um, but there's cool machines. Like that one. It's like cooking like enormous turkey looking things with a jet engine. Yeah, so like little alien creatures that's cooking. It's just very cool decorations all around. I am nerding out like all else. And uh, so far, um, worth, worth it. So far. <laughs> Look what we see right there. It's the Millennium Falcon! Which we're so excited about. That's also where the Millennium Falcon ride is. Some things for you guys to get uh, excited about is that we also have um, the coveted tickets to Oga's Cantina, which is a place where they serve alcoholic drinks. Daddy loves alcohol. I'm not an alcoholic. Maybe I am. But I'm bit. so excited. And I love fruity mixed drinks, which I'm sure is what Disney's ever going to serve us. Yeah. Um, and then later on, we're also going to make... Where are we going? We are going to the Haunted Mansion. No, no baby. Okay. What are you talking about? We are going to the Droid Depot the here. The Droid Depot, yes. And that's a place where you have the opportunity to build your own versions of these. R2-D2 and BB-8. Yay. So we are now right next to the Millennium Falcon. Entrance to the to right Smuggler's there. Run. And Smuggler's Run is right behind us, so we are gonna go walk in. Um, and we'll try to show you some things as we go in, but the line's getting long. Dizzy waits for no one. Oh, hello, my friends. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Okay, so we just came off of the Millennial Falcon ride. It's a very, it's like an elaborate simulator. They definitely did a great job in terms of making it thematic. Uh, but the ride experience itself, I don't know. It I, was, it, it was, was okay. Yeah, it was really interesting. I would say that um, it is a very unique kind of ride in a sense that you are basically cohorted in groups of six. So two people are going to be pilots for the ride, two people will be gunners shooting for the ride, and two people are engineers like carrying cargo for the group. The pilots probably had the most control because they could actually drive the ship and they're like a couple different things. Yes. There's like a joystick and a few other things that they could... So it was with. pretty funny because our pilots were crashing into everything and... They're checking around if you're here. No, but I think they, were, they, they had a good time too, basically trying to kill us. Yeah. Uh, because we just crashed into everything. Um, um, and I'm not sure what the engineers did, but they were very silent in the back, so I think it's probably the least fun role to I take so. on. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I would do that ride again, unless there was absolutely no line. I didn't really know what was going on. You're just like button smashing the entire time. Right. I, I do still have a smile on my face, like Disney does a great job, it was great. Um, but it was not what I was expected, both in good and bad ways. Was that ride worth it? Worth doing at least once. Yeah, I would say so too. Like, despite everything I just said, I would still say I'm so glad I was able to do it. It was a very unique experience. No other Disney ride quite feels like that yet. Um, so, yes, it's still worth it. Worth it a second time? No, I don't think so. 
So one of the things you can get here is um, like blue milk and green milk. I think they're supposed to be the milk of some celestial alien creature. Um, so we're gonna get in line for that. You're gonna get pretty cool design. You can see all these like bottles of colored milk in Next here. Um, I'm lactose intolerant, so we'll see how things go. Oh, it is very blue. It costs $7.99, not including tax and tip. Um, it does look like milk, which makes my tummy hurt already. But thankfully, it's not real. Let me try. Okay. They said that the difference between blue and green, blue was more tropical and green was more citrusy, is what she had said. What do you think? Oh, very pineapple. You can see it, and there's a light on the bottom as well. Yeah, it's like a pineapple. Someone told me there was dragon fruit in this. I believe it. It is um, almost like a fruit smoothie because you can taste the ice crystals inside. Some kind yes. of like blue Gatorade or blue like um, Capri Sun kind of flavor. But then there's this like thick creaminess to it yeah. that adds gives it that milk it, texture. It like cover. It like coats your mouth. Sorry, that wasn't attractive. So good. So now almost time for our reservation at Oga's Cantina. So we're back yes. for that. And uh, we're also going to go build a droid. Yes. Uh, so those two experiences left to do in Galaxy's Edge. And then I think we'll just kind of experience Galaxy's Edge at night. A word of caution. Um, the line to get into Oga's is pretty long. These are everyone who's made reservations. Um, and people who haven't made reservations are being kicked out of the line. So do keep in mind Oga's Cantina, make a reservation. To show you pictures, You probably couldn't hear most of what we said in that because it was basically bumping like a club bar, which was so, so fun. Um, we had four drinks in total. I don't remember the names of either. The alcoholic drinks there were not, were not weak, but were not strong. Like you could not, there wasn't, it wasn't strong enough that you could really taste the alcohol. In the no, drink. you could definitely taste the alcohol. A little bit. Very taste like alcohol. Very, yeah, but it was so sweet that it kind of covered, it was more masking of the alcohol than say dilution, yeah. which I think was a good thing. So that bar, 10 out of 10 for me. I, I loved it, the environment was so fun. A lot of the children weren't there, thank goodness. So we got some adult time, um, and then the drinks were great. Like thank you, each, thank you Disney for creating you, a that safe so space nice. for adults. Yeah, and we're feeling great. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic right now. We are gonna go um, to build a drone right now yeah. in a slightly buzzed state. Let's see what creature we create. <laughs> Ready to build a droid. We have sobered up a little bit from the alcohol that we drank at Oga's Cantina, and now the sound is probably terrible because it is loud in here. Um, that being said, we are going to choose what kind of droid we're going to make, which is either a BB-8 style or a R2-D2 style. Um, you can choose the heads, the colors, the, like just about everything about it. You can, you can customize it. So we will show you our decision-making process and hopefully show you the droid that we bring home with us. So you can see, I think this is like a preview of our options.
Okay, after like five minutes in line, you can see that we really upset people. Yeah. Um, but we have decided to get a R unit, R which unit. is a R two D two form. Um, and the first thing you get to do is you get to choose from a conveyor belt. So let's take a look. So many choices. So they have the schematics there. They show you what you can customize. So you're going to drill his legs on, put his head on, do the stripes, and then some arm bits, and put the light on. R2D2 bringing in the red for courage, for good luck, for, for good pros luck, prosperity. prosperity. <laughs> He's cute. Okay. You love him. We love him. And now we have to bring him to life in this magical box. Go ahead and press activate. All right. All right. Are we ready? Yes. We're ready. We're ready. That's it. Right. Press it again. We're pressing it together. Three, two, one. Activating. We were in there for a very long time. And now we have our, our, our unit. It's our unit. Oh, our unit. Our R two D two. And we'll have to think of a name for him uh, later. I don't know what we, we're gonna Probably name. Probably Mister Something Wiggles. Something. Yes. Hey guys, so it's been about a week since we came back from Disneyland. Uh, we're back home now in our apartment. Uh, as you can see, our droid survived the trip. So we sought out to ask, is Galaxy's Edge worth the trip to Disneyland? Especially if you have been to Disneyland many times before. And I think we'll just break down into components what um, each of the things we did and what we thought about it out of a scale of five. <laughs> Uh, so, first thing we did when we got there was Smuggler's Run, which is the only ride that's available at Galaxy's Edge right now. I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five. I'm just going to give it a two out of five. I, I, the line is really long and it just, it, it's fun, but I would not spend an hour to do that ride again. Yeah. Um, so I would eagerly anticipate the next ride that's coming in January. Rise of the um, Resistance. But until then, um, I'm okay with it. Mm. Uh, okay, so next we um, we did food. Mm. Okay, so food. Uh, we had a couple of different food experiences, um, both casual and a little bit more formal. We did the blue milk, uh, which was milk of the, I think it's milk of the kadu beast. I loved it. I thought it was delicious. Um, it tastes like a smoothie. I loved the idea of it being creamy and it tasted like, it felt like milk in your mouth. Um, I would give it a 5 out of 5. I think it's a mm. must have when you go to Galaxy's Edge. Mm. And finally we did Oga's Cantina. Um, so uh, if you saw from the video, uh, Kevin loves it. Oh. I actually got kind of drunk. I had to cut that out out of this video. Um, by kind of, I mean got pretty tipsy um, from it. So I would give that 10 out of 5. It was so fun. It was really good. The drinks were delicious, uh, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic options. Uh, and they even had a few snackies, like popping boba and crunchy stuff. Uh, totally worth it. Make a reservation. Droid Depot was another experience that we decided to do. Um, as you can see here, uh, and we went with the R units. You can do also do the BB-8. Um, I thought it was a really well designed experience. I love the fact that all the parts were there and just on a conveyor belt going by you and it was packed to the brim with all the possible options. I think it's worth it, but we have to keep in mind that there's like families that shell out a lot of money to be at Disneyland and I think these droids are really pricey. I wish Disneyland kind of kept that in mind to make it that land more accessible to everyone. And finally, uh, immersiveness and general ambiance. Um, I think top notch. I think they really went all out here. Um, the buildings, the scenery. Yeah, I think people who are saying that Galaxy's Edge is a flop 
are people who probably just went to go do the ride and then booked it out of there. You really need to spend the time to look at the detail. I mean, Disney is all about detail and all about those magical silent moments and this land is full of it. Full of like small surprises that go like, wow, that they put a lot of thought into this and I really feel like I'm there. I'm light years away. Um, so is it worth it? I say yes, even without the Rise of the Resistance. Rise of the Resistance? Mm -hmm. Coming out yet. Um, I would say definitely go check it out. Don't hang your hat on the ride, but experience everything else about that land. So like, uh, subscribe, and comment. We'd love to hear if you were able to go to um, Disneyland um, and check out Galaxy's Edge and what your experience was um, there. So have a great day. Bye. May the force be with you. <laughs>